a few weeks ago on a Saturday in April, something weird happened to, to the electricity grid. The weather was a little bit mild, uh, the wind a little bit blowy, and the wholesale cost of electricity went below zero. Most of us won't notice this. If you're on a normal electricity tariff, you don't notice the change in, in wholesale costs. But over a whole year when this happens, it might mean that our costs in the future are a little bit lower. But if you're on a smart tariff like Octopus's Agile tariff, like we are, you do start to notice something happening. You start to get emails and notifications that tell you something strange is going on. A plunge in electricity prices, so much so that Octopus could pay you for the electricity that you use. So back in April, on April the 13th, between 10.30 a.m. and 4 p.m., the price for electricity for us was negative. So, as they say, I made hay. And this meant that I decided that we should do whatever we can, as much as we can, to use as much as electricity as we could. Hopefully not wastefully using electricity, but using it for meaningful things. So I pushed the temperature of our stored water in a hot water tank up really high so I could store energy use usefully in hot water for the next few days. Um, I put the dishwasher and washing machine on. I cooked lunch on the portable induction hob rather than the gas hob. I mowed the lawn. Um, my neighbour saw me mowing the lawn, so I told him about our negative prices. So he plugged into our extension cable and mowed his lawn too. I baked some bread. Our neighbour even then plugged in his EV to the extension cable to get some free miles. And I would point out, spot the obvious error, klaxon should be sounding now. You probably shouldn't charge electric vehicles through daisy chained extension cables. That plug was quite hot when we unplugged it later on. But anyway, we used loads of electricity. So overall, we used all that electricity during the plunge in prices. It didn't really get in, uh, get in the way of us enjoying our normal Saturday, but we probably did some things that afternoon that we wouldn't have done normally, uh, but we might have done them the next day or, or in a few days time. But we did put a bit of effort in. So how much did we earn? Were we raking in the big bucks? Well, during the plunge pricing, we used 14.43 kilowatt hours of electricity and we got paid a grand total, drum roll please, of 75 pence. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have been so excited about plunge pricing or negative pricing from Octopus Agile. So what's the real story here? Why have I bothered to make a video about 75p? Well, I'm making this video because it's fairly odd that electricity would be free or even that someone would be paid to use electricity at any, t any t time of the day. So why did it happen? Well, this is a strange quirk of our electricity system as we deploy more and more intermittent generation, such as wind turbines or solar panels. So what does that mean in reality? Well, I think on the 13th of April, it's likely that demand in the UK was probably quite low. It's also likely that demand through our interconnectors to our neighbours all around Europe was also quite low. It could have been that it was a really windy day, uh, probably in Scotland where we've got lots of wind power or in the North Sea where we've got lots of offshore wind. Uh, it could be that most of our traditional generators, nuclear power, gas power stations, etc., weren't having many problems, so they, they weren't uh, turning off. Maybe there was a lot of generation, but not a lot of demand to use it. So on days like this, the grid tends to ask or actually to force generators to switch off or, or what we call curtail their generation. And that curtailment can come with a financial penalty. I mean, why would a generator that exists to generate electricity and gets paid for generating electricity want to turn off? And why should another one get paid for what for generating electricity when that first one has been forced to turn off? So curtailment can come with a financial penalty. And that financial penalty will need to be paid by someone. And ultimately it goes back onto consumers' bills. So if we can use more electricity when we're asking some generators to turn off, then we can reduce the costs for everyone, which is where the concept of plunge pricing through Octopus Agile comes from. That small payment that we were getting to use electricity uh, or actually the, the 
what we what we experience quite often, which is very low cost electricity, which encourages us to use electricity at different times. It means that we and other agile customers are, are encouraged to shift when we use electricity to those windy days or to those days where we've got low demand to bake, wash, charge, heat when the wind is blowing or when the sun is shining. We don't have to do that. It just means that our costs might be lower if we did. And moving away to uh, when costs are lower would benefit all of us, ensuring that the lowest cost electricity can be used and not curtailed, ensuring that the lowest emissions electricity can be used. And that flexibility in, de in our demand, as thousands of, of Octopus Agile customers working together uh, do it all at the same time, has a meaningful impact around the country. And in doing that, we begin to set out what a future energy system could be. So what do I mean by that? Well, as we have more and more wind generation and more and more generation is being installed each year, we will have more, more and more of this intermittent generation. If we can use that generation when the wind blows, our costs would be very low. But if we can't, we risk wasting cheap energy. So in the future, through smart meters, uh, through smart electric vehicle charging, through smart heat pumps, and through smart people, our systems could take advantage of cheaper electricity as the cost changes on a half hourly basis. If you had cheap electricity overnight, we could heat the hot water tank to a higher temperature, or we could charge the electric vehicle only when the cost is below a certain rate. And if we can be flexible with our demand, we can smooth out the variability of renewables. And when we've electrified our heating and our transport in our cars, then we have a huge amount of flexibility to take advantage of cheap electricity and to avoid the most expensive electricity. Maybe if we had batteries at home too, then even better. We can charge up cheap and then use it, use that electricity when the grid is expensive. And then at the system scale, at grid scale, we talk about the need for storage, some kind of energy storage to smooth out the, uh, the, the peaks and the troughs of variable renewables. And we will need that as part of a low carbon electricity system in the next decade. But the more flexibility that we consumers can provide with changing our demand and ideally that flexibility that could be automatic without us noticing through smart systems, then the less infrastructure investment would be needed in terms of battery storage. When we're able to manage our demand to take advantage of low cost renewable energy, you can start to see a future where electricity will be very cheap and very cheap throughout the whole year for most of the UK. And I say, bring it on. So for now, Octopus Agile means that occasionally I get really excited about getting paid for using electricity and getting paid a tiny amount. And from a day to day basis, it means that my electricity costs are quite cheap compared to standard rates. So over the last year, using a heat pump and using a lot of electricity, my rates have averaged around 17.29 pence per kilowatt hour, which is much less than the price cap and much less than Octopus's standard variable tariff. But in the future, with smart meters, variable tariffs and an electrified smart energy system, it could mean that we have very low cost and very low emissions energy powering very low cost and low emissions lives. This is a good thing. So what do you think? How much electricity would you have been able to use in five and a half hours if you're being paid for it? And what do you think about me being so hopeful about our electricity systems? could renewable energy with smart meters, variable pricing and smart technology mean a very low cost in the future? What do you think?